All right, today's lesson is about multi-sub texturing with uh, UV relationship editors. Um, this is one of the most common way of assigning your multiple textures to a 3D object. Um, okay, so first of all, go into your Windows um, rendering editor, Hypershade. Okay, so we are going to create a new Lambert. All right, you can use Lambert, Fong, Blin, um, the basic shaders if you want to. Um, so the next thing what we want to do is to rename this guy to perhaps terrain um, texture and assign it by middle mouse um, and drag and drop over to your terrain or select your terrain, right click and hold and assign existing material to terrain text. Alright, uh, next I'm just going to move this shader across and in your input um, type in layer we are going to use layered texture Okay, um, there are a lot of uh, similarities between layered shader and layered texture um, but at this point of time we're just going to use layered texture and right now uh, we need to look at the attribute editor of our layer texture. Okay, as of now, the layer texture itself by default it has a red color line. This signifies the boundary within the layer texture. Okay, and each of this, if you click anywhere within um, the boundary line, you can create additional um, layers and you can delete them by clicking the cross. Okay, so the next thing that we want to do really is to us to create a connection between the layer texture to our shader. Okay, so a couple of ways to do it. You can either middle mouse drag and drop your layer texture. Okay, middle mouse drag and drop over your to your shader, and click on color. This will create a connection. Okay, if you want to get rid of connection, you can select the connection and hit backspace. So the next thing you can do is in your attribute editor of your shader, you can also middle mouse drag and drop your layer texture to this. All right. So this will create um, a connection as well. So the next thing that we want to look at is your layer texture. In your um, boundary box, what we want to do is to select the first one, color, click on the checker box, and click on file and this time around I'm just gonna select a stone texture all right and hit number six in your viewport to look at the preview all right so if this is uh, in your work area in the hyper shade if it's getting way too messy select the shader and look for this fast forward icon um, this is your input and output click on it it should um, rearrange them in your work area. So select layer texture and go to your attribute editor. All right, and create another layer by clicking anywhere within um, the red box or the red boundary line. Now, as you have created a new one, um, the first one will still, the first layer will still be selected. So make sure to select the second layer and click on the checker box and then file and I'm going to select um, a grass texture alright so now I have two textures and to test whether if there is um, whether if there the two textures are being applied to the same model we can easily select the first uh, layer and just drag the alpha sh slider all right and the next thing that we want to do is to set up an alpha image um, because we want a blend because to be frank if we were to set it to 0 0.5 it doesn't really show much so we need to set up by selecting the checker box select file Okay, and I have an alpha image here. Now it's not gonna show 
up in your viewports, but it's going to show on the sample, right? So um, the only way to show it in the viewport is to go to renderer, either set it to high quality rendering, okay, or you can use viewport 2.0. Um, viewport 2.0 can be a little flaky at times, so I'm just going to set it to high quality rendering. Um, but just uh, do bear in mind that high quality rendering can be a little um, laggy. Okay, 2.0 is slightly better, but uh, just bear in mind sometimes you will see some um, strange mix ups. So um, right now, as you can tell, I have uh, two textures being applied on the same um, objects with uh, by using an alpha. So the alpha you can in fact uh, think of it as um, a black and white map that you can paint roads or certain things that uh, needs connection within the level. So the next thing that I am going to show you is that as you can tell, if I go to the UV texture editor, which is located in your windows, UV texture editor, right? Now, both maps is sharing the same UV space. And a lot of times we can, in fact, create additional UV space, such as uh, the grass having uh, using this and the stones using another kind of UV. So how... Um, how do we really assign or specify the UVs? So first of all, in your UV sets, you're going to see map 1. By default, map 1 is created when you um, create any poly object in Maya. So what we can do is uh, in polygons with the object selected, polygons, create empty UV set options. Okay. Reset, and I am going to create a new UV set called Stone. Hit Create, and in my UV sets, I should see Map One and Stone. All right. So, um, how do we cr uh, assign the materials to the UVs that we want, or how do we even change the UV sets? Now, if in the UV texture editor, just go to UV sets and select stones, you're going to see there's really nothing there. So you can switch in between to see that um, UV sets has been already set up for the defaults, and there's really nothing in stone. So in the stone UV set, all right, I can go to polygons and hit unitize. This is to allow us to create per face mapping for stone. So the next thing um, to do is to set up the link between this stone UV set to our stone texture. So what we can do is go to window, relationship editor, UV linking, texture centric or UV centric. If you choose UV centric, it's gonna choose. Uh, it will allow UVs to be the main selector, and if you use textures, that would be textures as the main selector. So I'm just gonna use uh, UV centric, and with the objects, you need to get the object selected in order to reflect in the relationship editor. So in my relationship editor, I'm gonna see two UVs um, on my left panel and my textures on my right panel. So the next thing to do is to select the stone UVs, okay? And perhaps it will be very useful if I were to go to my hypersheet to really rename all these files. Um, this as grass, I have the center one, this one is my alpha. And my first file is my stone. Okay. So in my uh, relationship editor, make sure to have my object selected. Okay, stone, and and I'm gonna look at stone. 
all right so when I hit stone it's just gonna turn um, into a perface mapping so I can take a quick look map one stone is uh, deselected so if I want to um, set the link between my default UVs to my stone I can easily do that all right and stone to stone map one to stone so you can tell the difference immediately so if I want to test it on the others I can click on grass but as you can tell that is that is the wrong switch and that is because of the renderer so now if I were to switch back to high quality rendering this will be correct so that's what I meant by viewport 2.0 can be um, a little flaky alright but um, for high quality rendering I'm able to really um, set this correctly so let's say but it will um, get very laggy okay uh, alright so that is um, per face mapping as well as uh, relationship editor um, that's the lessons for today um, thank you for watching